Want to know the secrets to attracting dream clients who love you and pay you well? Want to know the secrets to closing high-ticket sales without feeling pushy or salesy? Want to become the highest paid and most respected expert in your field? Want to leverage your gifts and expertise and amplify your impact in the world? This is the High Ticket Sales Secrets Show, where you'll get exclusive behind-the-scenes access to the best-kept coaching and consulting secrets. 10 minutes a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Please welcome the king of high-ticket sales, Dan Lott. Welcome to another episode of High Ticket Sales Secrets. This is Dan Locke, your host, your guide, and your mentor. One of the most common questions I get from coaches and consultants is, Hey, Dan, I am talking with prospects on the phone, but somehow I'm not able to enroll them into my program or not, I'm not able to sign them up. And I'm getting a lot of resistance. You know, why is that? Now, sometimes it could be your, the way that you're selling, because quite frankly, most co- consultants and coaches, they don't know um, how to sell, how to close high ticket sales offers on the phone. Uh, that's the first issue. But sometimes it could be that they are trying to get the prospects on the phone too quickly. Now, what do I mean by that? They're, the prospects may or may not be ready to to sign up yet in terms of uh, their needs or their urgency. Uh, they don't need this. So low needs or low urgency. Or maybe they, they're not very familiar with the way that you do things yet or the type of value that you offer. So example would be, let's say a friend of yours uh, gives your information, your contact information to a potential client and the potential client just picks up the phone and calls you out of, out of the blue and you are totally unprepared. And when you get on the phone and, and you try to convince them what you do and the value that you provide and the experience that you have and, and the credibility that you have and just how awesome that you are, suddenly you sound like a salesperson. And when you're selling high tickets, the minute you sound like a salesperson, you've lost a sale. That does not work. So instead of doing that, I, I'm a very big believer in the consumption theory. The consumption theory. Let me explain that to you. What that means is, on average, on average, for every one thousand dollar that you want your prospect to spend with you to buy your program, they need to consume about one hour of content. So, for every one thousand bucks that you wanted to, you want them to spend with you, they need to spend. They need to spend about at least an hour uh, consuming your content. So if you want them to spend 10K with you, let's say a 10K program, on average, they need to at least consume 10 hours of your content, i.e. it could be watching your videos, it could be reading your book. Let's say it takes 15 hours to finish your book. Fine, that's 15 hours of consumption. Or listening to your podcast or attending your workshop. Let's say say you have a one-day workshop and it is a... Eight hour workshop, well, that's eight hours of, of consumption. And may may not be the case. Are there scenarios where they see an ad and they click on the ad and maybe they join your webinar or they see your video sales letter and they book a call and you sold them? Yeah, you know, that happens. But what I notice is when your prospects take the time and they they invest some time to consume your content and your materials. It makes them a better client because instead of having a a prospect that is cold or even a client that is even they've signed up but they are skeptical they're going into with they're going to the program with the with the mindset of well I don't know if this is gonna work is that my last final try or I hope this thing works I hope he or she is good it's gonna deliver what she promises. All these negativity, but when your client enrolls into your your program with confidence, with faith, and how do they get faith? By consuming your materials. With faith, I can see that chances are they're going to get better results. So now you might be saying, but, but Dan, I don't have 10 hours or 20 hours of content out there for people to consume. Well, that's the first fucking problem. Uh, that means you don't have enough stuff out there. 
Uh, maybe it could be your blog. It could be, again, your podcast. could be videos on YouTube. It could be webinar. It could be books. It could be whatever, whatever marketing that you're doing. That's secondary. But knowing that, hey, you know, I need to have stuff out there for people to consume, for, for to, to build trust, to deliver value, so they get to know the way that I do business, the way that I work with clients, and my philosophies, and my methodology, and my system. Once they resonate with that, and they're familiar with the way that I work, great. When you get on the phone with those type of prospects who already have invested a significant amount of time, they have trained themselves to be a qualified client. Now, when you get them on the phone, it's not a question of, oh, are you any good? Do I like you? Would this program work? It's, it's a question of, hey, when can we get started? And does this fit with my budget? Can I afford your program? That's the difference. So your content has done a lot of the heavy lifting for you already. Instead of you trying to do all the heavy lifting, now when you get on the phone, you're not selling. You're not... You're not trying to convince. You're not trying to to twist their arm. You're just simply qualifying them. You qualify them on the phone. You know, is this the right client for me? Is can I add value to this client's life or business? When you think of it that way, it makes everything so much easier. So, what can you do? Put out more content out there. Good content out there. Make sure you put them through your content. Have them consume a certain amount of content before you kind of jump the gun and, and get them on the phone with you. Uh, sometimes it's beneficial to delay the sale. It, it might be counterintuitive, but when you delay the sale, it makes them a better client. It makes them a more committed client. Again, especially if you're selling a more long-term program, like a six-month or even a year program, delay that sale. Delay that sale. Let train them. Let them train themselves to become a better client. Until next time, always be closer. Want to ask Dan a question? Want to connect with Dan and thousands of other like-minded consultants and coaches just like you? Join Dan Locke's exclusive high-ticket consulting and coaching Facebook community today. Visit www.highticketgroup.com. Again, it's www.highticketgroup.com. 